Just went and picked up another free couch. Uh, I wanted to pick up something that's like completely out of the normal. This is getting like a normal generic like IKEA Finalis uh, sofa. Three series slip cover. Retail on this is like five hundred ninety nine. Put a picture of it right here. Why would I get something like this? I'm gonna try and like be more adamant on having multiple types of sectionals or couches in different price brackets. 250 bucks, maybe 300 dollars, and like do pickup only or like deliveries like plus 100 dollars because I don't want to do that. Okay, quick couple of things. We were outside of a uh, Marshalls and also a local game store. I'll turn that camera around, but we ended up picking up a dresser out towards this way and a bunch of Wii Fits. So you'll see. So here is, well, obviously the dresser, and I got 15 Wii Fits with Wii Fit Plus. I sell these on Amazon for 99 to 125, getting ready for the Christmas time. And after fees, shipping, all that stuff, these each make me like 48 to $75 profit each. Pretty cool. And this is the game store way over there, Retro Shark Gaming. I've been there a handful of times. Uh, haven't been there in probably a year. These are the Wii Fits that were cleaned and tested. Uh, these ones don't have corrosion. I don't know if they work yet. And then all of these are corroded extremely. And I'm not even going to bother doing that. So uh, out of the 15 I bought, 9 are trash. Kind of really, really annoying and a waste of my time. 6 worked. Well, not corroded. 9 are extremely corroded. Not worth me trying to clean or test. But they said, yeah, bring them on back for store credit. So I'm going to bring it back and probably trade this in for... A couple of copies of a uh, GameCube uh, Twin Snakes or something. So I went, I paid 12 each and I traded them back in for 10 each, which is fine. And then I ended up buying three copies of Twin Snakes Metal Gear Solid because this is like a $200 game on Amazon. These are both complete or all three complete. So spent more money, but I'll show, I'll make even more money. So I'm down here pulling and shipping eBay orders. I just wanted to show you guys something that's kind of, kind of crazy, but it makes sense if you're in this world. But uh, this is a Super Nintendo promo insert for, what is this, Return of the Jedi. This little piece of paper sold for 30 bucks. Crazy. So I'm currently down here in the game cave, and I just found someone who's going to buy all my broken stuff. Well, like 90% of it, 85% of it. They own like a local repair shop out of their garage, I think, something like that. And I need to get this stuff out of here because there's a lot of space. But I'll turn the camera on and show you guys what's going on. Well, first of all, I got to make sure I grab this stack of five 360s. And then also, we agreed that I would trade her a tote of cords and cables so she can repair all of my Wiimotes. I made a note of this. There's like a, maybe five or six motion plus. But I am I really, really, really need Wiimotes because I can't sell a Wii without them, obviously. But you can see like how blue and corroded it is. These are absolutely trashed. Going over here is a bunch of consoles I pulled from my part department. Part department being like this shelf and that shelf more or less. There is, I think, I had to look at my notes, maybe 30 or 40 consoles overall. But this is the tote one. These are just like completely deep of Wii's, which is super common. A uh, bunch of Super Nintendo's. This one got absolutely demolished. One of these is actually a one chip, which is actually this one which is the UN3. So this is like a much more desirable one to fix. And I'm probably gonna ask her if like, if you fix this, like reach back out and I want it back. Cause that'd be like my personal copy. Obviously some more uh, switches, not switches, the heck, Wii's, tote of cables, some more uh, 360s, Model S, original Xboxes. I never bothered testing these, I don't think, but uh, they're taking up too much room. And I think some of them were like modded and I don't know how to unmod them, so I don't really care. But she's ended up paying $815 for however many this is. I'll pull up my notes real quick. Okay, so we're down here looking at my other phone, but there's that many Wii's, 15 Wii's, eight Super Nintendo's, five OG Xbox, blah, 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 you can read whatever. And then here is my Wii count, my Wii remote count. So hopefully this ends up being like a very fruitful like repeat uh person i can sell my console and broken stuff to or potentially like she said she's open to it maybe potentially working for me and repairing the stuff that i get so she's still making her money and therefore i'm not like losing out on all this stuff but uh why am i selling it now is like this needs to go i've been wanting to sell this broken stuff off locally for a really long time i have someone that buys it all and he would have paid 
like twelve hundred, thirteen hundred dollars for all this stuff. But then uh, I gotta ship it all, and I don't really feel like bossing all this stuff up and sending it in the mail. And maybe it gets lost, whatever, whatever. So I'll take a local deal of eight hundred dollars, uh, eight fifteen cash, and I'll show you all when that happens. But pretty cool. Whew, I am now winded, but here is everything in the back of the truck. Uh, update on the video game, uh, like Broken Lot. They ended up buying it all, sold it all for nine hundred dollars, and they have their own little small little repair operation. They might potentially work with me and potentially hiring. I can hire them to do all my repairs or like middleman them and do my repairs that way or buy off the, you know, the clean and refurbished stuff. So pretty cool. And then currently, uh, Billy sold the red couch for, how much you sell it for? Like 300? 300, 350 delivered. Yeah, 350 delivered. And this was free like a week ago, if that. So here is the red couch that Billy got for free and sold for 350. This is actually a really nice brand. This is vintage. This is called Drexel Heritage. You probably can't see it, but it's under there. For whatever reason, like the really obnoxious colors sell very well here, no matter what condition. I just sold a really, really obscure Wii accessory on eBay. This little camouflage Nyko was a perfect shot gun. Sold for $33. Crazy. Okay, so I'm down here in the game cave. I'm going to show you what I've been working on doing like a, a bunch of Wii Fit boards. So here is my current operation. This I'm doing, I'm sending out, this is five Wii Fit boards fit in this, what is this, like a U-Haul large? Yeah, which is a 24, 18, 18. And these boxes are actually 24 long. So these fit like perfectly. I am just getting back from buying a small little local Wii collection. I'll turn the camera around. Nothing crazy, but wanted to show you. First up, these five packages sold on eBay for like 90 bucks. These are all just manuals. But yeah, going into here, Wii Fit board uh, has some corrosion, so I don't know if that works, but uh, I guess I'll test it. And then going down, hi kitty. I basically bought this just for the games because Mario Kart Wii, I need for Wii bundles, and Mario Party 8 is just an expensive game regardless. Uh, what did I spend on this? I spent 120 there's also the Wii, you know, so that, you know, alone. The Wii plus Mario Kart, I sell for 140 on Amazon, so that basically breaks me even. And then this is all just profit. And my knowledge on Wii games is very low. There's also uh, Wii Sports, which I always, always, always need these. So, kind of a no-brainer. This is all the, the little small stuff adds up. I'm curious how much this stuff goes for, though, because I have, like, zero or very, very little knowledge on Wii. Yeah, this is what you need for the Wii Fit board. The Wii Fit boards I sell for $125. So like I should in theory like triple to quadruple up. And last thing before I end this video, the guy that came and bought all those broken consoles, I totally forgot an entire box and that's literally where it was in the very beginning of that clip. There's like a stack of uh, Xbox 360 right here. That's all for this video. If you guys like this kind of stuff, like, feel free to like drop a comment or like comment, subscribe. I don't really like asking this stuff because I'm not really doing YouTube to get successful and crazy rich off YouTube. It's just like a more so like a documentary for me so I can go back and look at and like watch my growth as my business and my wife and I's businesses are growing. It's just really cool to go back and look at this stuff and like, oh yeah, I totally forgot I had that or I sold that. So that's basically why I do these little vlog YouTube videos. I will never learn how to edit, so don't expect any fancy editing. But uh, if you like this stuff, great. If not, great. See you next one. Or not. You do you.